news from the region, and from around the state, it's Florida Focus. Welcome to the Friday edition of Florida Focus. I'm Victoria Rapp, and today is April 13th, 2012. Tampa athletes take a little off the top to help cancer awareness. Kathleen Zadita has the story. Every year, Tampa businessmen and athletes leave their desks and put down their hockey sticks to support pediatric cancer in Tampa Bay's Cut for a Cure. The hum of razors and a feeling of hope filled the air at the third annual Cut for a Cure in Tampa on March 30th. The event raises money and awareness in support of the Pediatric Cancer Foundation. Joined by Mayor Bob Buckhorn, Tampa Bay Lightning Captain Vinny LeCavier hosted the event. Many of his teammates joined to support the cause. It's fun to come out and see the kids shave our heads and it's, uh, it's a great night all around. Local businessman Chris Carrera shaved his head tonight to support a friend. Yeah, our good friend Phil Cusmano who's here with us this evening is uh, battling cancer right now as well as my father-in-law. And uh, you know, they go through so much fighting cancer and uh, again, it's the least we could do to uh, show our support for them. Nearly $300,000 have been donated so far. Contributions are welcomed through May 4th. Reporting for Florida Focus, I'm Kathleen Sedita. Hurricane season begins June 1st. Meteorologist Dave Roche has information for the upcoming months. For summer and fall 2012, the current forecasts in the Atlantic are for a slightly below average hurricane season. Looking at multiple features such as early season sea surface temperatures in the Atlantic, which at this point are below normal, and the forecast of the state of the El Nino Southern Oscillation. If those forecast events prove to be correct, those conditions are associated with below average activity in the tropical Atlantic. A reduced count in hurricanes, reduced reduction in their overall intensity, and duration. However, despite a forecast for a below average season, that does not mean that you can take 2012 lightly. You cannot wait until August to do your preparations, as though early season storms are not as common, they are much more likely to impact the state of Florida but preparations should be made prior to June 1st. It is never wiser to ride out the storm when you can get to safety with advanced warning times. Thank you for watching Florida Focus. We'll see you next time.